Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Chusatu First Graduation. Oh, where are they going? Ooh. She plopped onto the bear cushion on her bed. Aru had a fairly well situated place to call her own within their three room apartment. The place had a double window that faced south and came prepared with a blackout curtain. That's a, uh, that's kind of purple. The snow white wallpaper didn't have so much as a single wrinkle in it while the flooring was completely free from scratches. What? What snow white wallpaper? What are you talking about? That's pink. If she weren't feeling so down, Aru would have been dancing around in here. Uh... No, don't worry about that. She rubbed her right hand. No matter how hard she rubbed, there was nothing there. Her authority say had been what kept her even remotely human, but when she graduated and failed her compatibility exam, when she lost her exterior shell as an honor student, the CO2 came peeling off. Oh, okay. I now understand how she lost her CO now. And thank you for uh, the comment. Someone left a comment about that. Uh, thank you for that. I did not understand. I thought she. I thought they just took it away because you know when it first started the three P thing. And wow, you yeah you um you were correct about that. Thank you so much. But yeah, this is uh that's wow. So she just failed it. Wow, that's that that sucks. He felt weak. Like some pinball machine, the insides of her head were battered by a desire to flee. He wanted to leave. She clutched onto the cushion and started failing her legs in the air. Anxiety began to well up in her heart. Aru shook her head before she could finish the sentence. Yeah. Aru swore that she wouldn't spoil herself any further. She would study hard, build up her strength, and pass that re-examination. Well, not really. You can still read manga. In order to put an end to her doubts, Aru began searching around in her bag. She found the lunch she was going to eat on the rooftop before getting interrupted by that psycho. She opened the lid. As she did, she dropped her chopsticks. They rolled down below the bed. Aru probably went to her knees and peeked under the bed. And then her eyes met with those of the psycho. Oh, look, there she is. And what's that thing behind her? That's a... Ooh. Boy, hold on a sec. Ooh, that's a spooky thing. Ooh, yeah, that's 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 no bueno. Yeah! I was piercing scream penetrated the walls, reaching Koi Rose ears. The stalker? How did she get... Okay. Burst into the room. Aru, her mouth flapping like that of a goldfish, pointed at the bed with a frantic expression. Koro took a peek under the bed.
He fainted. Urban legend? Are you there? Oh no, she's kind of creepy, but then at the same time, it seems like she's just sad. She's just sad. With Horio's help, Arara, Arara managed to crawl out from underneath the bed like the villainess of some Japanese horror movie. A step behind, she cocked her head in confusion. I would point a finger straight at Aurora. Like I said, there we go. Arara is the third, <laughs> the third uh, roommate. Haru's mind had pretty much re uh, reached maximum frustration for Rio. How do you know this is your room? Maybe the other room is your room. How do you know it was her room, though? Yeah! Haru let out an ear-piercing scream. Where did uh, Aru go? Handshake. Started chaining otaku magic. Oh, 
考えただけで<笑>レジストされた you, you don't have any magic. 二人は前からの知り合いなの Yeah, when she left you. ち違います違いますからそれじゃ馬が合うんだね二人とも楽しそうどこどう見たらその感想が出てくるんですか小井戸さんに言われるまでもなあらららと同胞は魂レベルにつながっているあらね同胞Wow, I read that scream just, just peeked through the whole thing. Oh my gosh, hope it didn't clip. There was only one week left until the deadline. With these three seemingly incompatible Chusatsu complete their philosophy assignment in time, we will find out together, guys, in the next episode of Chusatsu First Graduation. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please smash that like button and punch that subscribe button to get more awesome videos. And don't forget to ring the little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!